All right, guys. Mr. Higgles here, bringing you another video on War Robots. And uh, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about a lot of the stuff that um, has been going around for a long time. And basically, that War Robots is a very, very expensive game that it you just have to pay a lot of money to win. Uh, you don't have to pay money to play, but it's pay to win, in a sense. And I'm not going to disagree with you by any means. It's an expensive game. That's the reality. It's, it's, it is expensive. But what I want to do is put a little bit of perspective in it for you. So I hope to accomplish that today. Um, so we're here at the screen, uh, the storage screen. And uh, you can see all the components that I have here. And uh, only halfway to that hover bot makes me sad. But um, <laughs> so I have uh, the things here. So. These are the new weapons that just came out. You have the Redeemer and you have the Gus. So let's click on this bot right now. So that's $99. Uh, well, it's essentially $100 to get 7,000 components. Um, and then you could do 20, which would put it at uh, 8,300. And you could buy another 20. That puts you at 9,600. And then you could pay that's what, 140, like 100. And, Fifty dollars, so around about one hundred and fifty, if you just bought it straight out to get the redeemer, and then the gust is only uh, nine dollars. And yes, I say only. So that is uh, rather pricey, rather expensive, and especially if you come over here to the most expensive robot in this game at this current moment is the Inquisitor, and it costs roughly three hundred dollars in uh, America to get that. And then the dash bots, I think, are basically the same, or about about two fifty or so. Um, that's really, really, really pricey when you think about it. I mean, that's a lot of money. Uh, and then if you come out here, so we got the gold screen here. Yeah, well, not the you know buy gold, however much there it is for you guys in your country. But for me, these are my prices. You've got uh, five for four ninety nine, five hundred, twelve hundred for nine ninety nine. You know, and so on and so forth. And then um, silver is just gold. <laughs> like, you have to pay gold for silver. But basically, like, that's expensive. Like, like what could you buy for $100 that's outside of this game? Like, a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Um, so, yeah. We're going to hop into what I think is a very, very expensive game. Um, far more so than this game. But I'm going to have to give you a little bit of backstory. Not backstory, but information on it to kind of explain how. So let's hop over to that right now. Okay, so we're in this game. This game, if you're not familiar with it, is Dragon Ball Dokkan Battle, or Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. So I would venture to say this game is far more expensive than than War Robots is. And um, I'm going to explain how that kind of is in a little bit and why War Robots even though you think it's expensive, and it is, I agree, it's very expensive. Um, you've, it, it, War Robots is a thousand times better than this game. Um, even though I'm not going to paint this game in a, a, a good light as far as money's concerned, um, I've, I love this game. Like, I love Dragon Ball Z type stuff, Dragon Ball Super, and all that kind of stuff, so um, I really do love this game. But one of the reasons why this game is so expensive is because to get new characters... Um, to get good <laughs> new characters, because you can do events. Um, so, like, if we hop into the event page, and um, it'll load up. So, let's find something that... Okay, so this stage right here in the event. In the stage one, it drops. As you can see, the reward is a STR, um, Majin Buu, Gohan Absorbed. I don't know if that means anything to you guys, but basically it drops that character... For free, all you have to do is play the stage and you get that character for free. That character is not good. Uh, he's just not. Any of the good characters you get from clicking on the summoning button, and you get them from here. Now, to do a multi-summon, it takes 50 stones, or 50 dragon stones. Um, basically, there is a finite amount of dragon stones in this game. So that means, now they do give them out to you every couple of days. Uh, but basically what that means is after you play for so long, you either wait a very long time to accumulate enough stones to summon, or you pay for stones. There's no other way around it. You either wait, 
slowly for more stones after you've gotten all the stones that you can get or you buy them that's that's how it is so to get stones in the first place you can this little little thing above this quest little arrows so you hit that it pops over to quest or event and uh, basically you get stones by doing all these all these areas now I can go all the way to area one down here and there's what like five stages in here yeah five stages in area one so you see these little stars here uh, that's a difficulty ranking so I've cleared normal I've cleared hard and I've cleared Z hard and I've done that for every stage in every area and these get even harder like they're hard Z hard and super um, I've done that for every area and that gives you I'm not exactly sure but it gives you I would say around seven eight hundred stones because you get certain like mission completions for doing everything on Z hard everything on hard or whatever so that gives you around 800 maybe a thousand stones that might be a bit much but and then all these events here that you see you get one stone for the first completion of every difficulty on each one of these stages so let's say the game gives you 1200 stones for free just all that okay so you come over to banners like this where you think well that's 1200 free stones that you can just get by playing the game Okay, so let's look at this banner right here. So the new Ultra Instinct Goku is, is the new summon. Um, look on the scouter here. The scouter tells you what's in this banner. These are, at the top left you see new, you see Dokken Exclusive. That means that this character can only be summoned on a Dokken Exclusive Festival or Dokken Festival banner. That means even on other banners that are here, like, um, let's say, because there's a lot of ticket stuff, like this banner right here, I cannot get that card on this banner. I've got to go and summon um, either on this one for the single, which is five stones, which is one character, or the multi, which you get ten characters for fifty stones. So if you go over here and click on the scatter, it'll show you everything that's featured here. So you got Goku, you've got Gogeta, you've got these characters. Basically, are all featured, um, and basically they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine featured units. Nine featured units. Okay, I'm going to break that down for you. You've got a 10% chance to pull one of these nine featured units. 10% chance. 50 stones per summon. Okay, now you can see how those odds are dwindling pretty quick to get this guy. Now, if you click over here to the character list, you can see all the characters that are in this list. Or in this banner everything that you can get when you put 50 stones in and you pull on the banner that means you can get any of these cards so i'm just going to scroll down so ssrs are the cards that are the best cards so you can see there's already a lot more than nine that means not only do you only have a 10 percent chance to pull the card you want you also have a chance of these other ssrs popping up and you not getting the, the one that you would like to have let alone any of the ones that are featured. These are not what they call non-featured units. So you could potentially pull some of these cards instead of those cards. To make matters even worse, you are not guaranteed an SSR per multi-summon or even a single summon. I've done plenty of multi-summons where I've gotten no SSRs. So there's a finite amount of stones and once you use them up, you have to buy them or wait a really long time. The odds are bad. They're a lot better than they used to be. It used to be like 3% and then it was like 6%. Um, so let's go to the shop, shall we? So how much are stones? Because that, that in there lies the question. That begs the question, how much are stones? So one stone is $1. And that kind of goes along with the theme. Every pack makes that one stone a little bit less till you get to the last pack. So there's a sale going on, and they do sales every other banner. So they drop the Ultra Instinct Goku banner. The next banner will be a Gohan banner, which actually comes out tomorrow. And then there won't be a sale with that banner, because there was a sale with the Goku banner. So the stones will be just regular price. And then the next banner after that that they release will be more sales. But essentially, this sale right here, $32.99 for 91 stones. Now remember what I said before, it takes 50 stones to do a multi-summon, or you could do singles, the rates are basically the same, but you're not guaranteed, even an SSR, you're not even guaranteed the one that you want. So potentially, you could spend those 91 stones, or 90 stones, you could spend those 90 stones and not get a single SSR, let alone the one you, you want. So you potentially have to buy one or two packs just to get the SSR that you want. 
Now I'm not going to lie, I've poured over a thousand stones into one banner and only pulled the card that I wanted to get one time. So, to put this even further into perspective for you, to kind of give you an even broader picture, on this list here you see hidden potential, so let's go to that. So we have a Frieza unit here, I'm going to go out. So the initial unit, you can only put so many what they call potential orbs into the unit until you can no longer put it in there without having summoned more of those characters to unlock their path. So I would need to summon another Frieza to unlock this path or that path. So a total, you would need a total of five characters, the initial one plus four more, to open up all its paths to make it the strongest it could possibly be. Essentially using silver and stuff like in World Robots. So if you just think about that, how many stones, how lucky would you have to be to be able to pull that many cards of that one unit? Now, thankfully, a lot of the units come back uh, on certain banners, like this banner down here, um, this Gotenks banner. It has Dock and Festival exclusive characters that were on other banners that are for the first time coming back. This is a very expensive game. So potentially, for the price of an Inquisitor, which is $300, I could get, if the if the rates were normal, like the sales here, this this sale, this big 91 stone pack is actually $44.99 usually. So I could buy, what, four of those? Potentially maybe five for $300 which would give me a, 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 around 400 and something stones, 500 and something stones. And I'm not guaranteed really to get the, the card that I want because on average it takes 600 to 700 stones to pull the card that you want. So in conclusion, because <laughs> I know it's it's been kind of a long video and it takes a lot to, to explain, but War Robots is expensive, but at least you're guaranteed the the robot that you get. If you pay $300 for an Inquisitor, you've got that Inquisitor for forever. Like, it's not going away. Now, the same at the same time, these units, uh, once you get them, you have them, obviously. But I might pay $300, $400, $500 $300, just to get one unit, and or three, four, five hundred dollars and not even get the unit and then just walk away with nothing. That being said, I've gotten really, really lucky. Um, pull up this guy here. This guy is an LR, the rarest, the rarest type in the game. Um, and he's got some really cool art too. It's one of the reasons why I love this game. I love the art. This guy, you have like a point, point one, no, point zero eight chance, I think, to pull this guy on, on the banners that he was on. And I was actually able to pull him in like forty or fifty stones. It was a, absolutely insane. You can get lucky and do that, and it's awesome. But traditionally, it's going to take you four or five hundred stones. Um, to get the unit that you want. Now, do I get every unit that comes out? Absolutely not, because I don't spend anywhere near that much, much money on this game. There are people who do play this game and are free to play who have never spent a dime and are able to do some of these events, but the problem is that when they release characters, it's just like robots and weapons in World Robots. The new characters are stronger and better than the previous characters, and the events get harder and harder to beat. Um, the older events you can really beat with anything, honestly, but they keep releasing new events that get stronger, more health, hit harder, and these new units give bigger boosts to your stats to help you through it. So, I mean, in conclusion, yes, War Robots is very, very expensive, but there are other games that are extremely expensive as well, for, and you're not even guarantee the units. And the problem, the biggest problem, is that people pay this much money. People pay this much money for these games, and that's why they are so expensive. Because people buy, people have bought it, people continue to buy it, and so game companies are going to continue to release this much stuff with this price tag until something changes. So, I mean, I just wanted to put some stuff into perspective for you guys. I hope I did that. I hope you enjoyed the video. I um, hope you learned a little something at the very least. Uh, but I do agree, all of this stuff is far too expensive. It's ridiculous. But I'll take my guaranteed robots. And, and, you know, the great thing about War Robots is that every battle, you can win keys to get components, to spin free chests, to get components to get your robots faster. So, I mean, it's a lot better than, than this game, even though this game's come a long way than what it was before. But anyways, guys, thanks for checking out the video. I really appreciate it. And until next time.
Take care.